So for today, we're going to be looking at the Veteran Legend Armor Set. If you guys know, this is the armor from the 10th anniversary. And this is funny because I've seen a lot of people bash on this armor, which is completely fair. I definitely see the arguments of this is just blue armor. Definitely. Considering this was like what uh, concept art for Destiny 2, it's, it was most likely going to be blue armor. That being said, I still think it's cool because it's more like a nostalgia thing. That being said again, I do think there's some pieces here that I'm just like, these are going to be rough. And this is coming from someone who's already used most of these pieces, if not all of them, like the Hunter videos, the Titan videos, and the or video, or either way, the class specific videos that I usually make for armor pieces, they're already done. I already made the sets and it was fun, but there's definitely some pain points here. So get the armor. Once you get the armor, I actually also uh, should also explain this. Once you collect all of the armor, do not waste your synth weave on the armor because you it'll tell you to go to the special delivery service. That's where you'll get the ornaments. You actually get the ornaments for free. So that is really cool. Bungie is thankfully giving it to us for free. We don't have to spend synth, synth weave on it. So I probably should mention that in the beginning. So I'm probably just going to put that in the beginning. So go back to future Tony. Let me know what you guys think about the armor. If you guys don't know, uh, like, comment, subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because I do think my content is worth it considering I post a lot of content. Like, as a Destiny 2 content creator, specifically fashion, I think I post a lot. Like, I think a, what, a little too much sometimes, but that's just me personally. But let me know what you guys think. Let's just get into it. So to start off, let's actually look at how you get it. I'm just going to post a video and then put some music in the background so you guys don't have to hear me where it, where it is. You just watch the video and you guys will just see where it goes. So yeah, I'm probably going to post a smaller video so that way more people can just get the armor faster because I think this armor is dope. I think it definitely is worth putting in your repertoire. So let's look at the Hunter armor. Hunters, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I think like two or three of these pieces are legitimately good. Like, let's, let's start off with the helmet. I think the helmet is going to be universally loved by people. I think this is like the quintessential like hunter helmet it is so cool that being said it's not like the o the og d1 helmet the one with like the gas mask and thing i think that one's like the quintessential hunter's helmet which is fair considering that's like one of the one first ones you get but after that like the cloak is pretty cool i actually do find it really decent um the chest piece is okay the arms are actually pretty cool surprise the shit out of me especially the the example set that i made with it the boots i think are the worst piece the boots was rough bro like i'm not even kidding the boots were th was the hardest piece for me 
just because we don't really have a lot of or not organic but like smooth rounded armor for hunters that go well with these boots so overall i personally think the pieces are really cool they're just gonna take a long time i also should mention i don't know if this event is time gated or not i don't know if it's like a, oh this is gonna be here forever type of thing i don't imagine them time gating this at all because it's really not an event uh, at least it doesn't feel like one personally just because a lot of like the stuff that you do is just like collect the armor cool do stuff with the armor on that's really how you get the legend uh title it's like get the armor once you get the armor i actually also sh uh, should also explain this once you collect all of the armor do not uh don't don't use your like uh your when you buy ornaments i forgot do not waste your synth weave on the armor because you it'll tell you to go to the special delivery service that's where you'll get the ornaments you actually get the ornaments for free so that is really cool bungie is thankfully giving it to us for free we don't have to spend synth, synth weave on it so i probably should mention that in the beginning so i'm probably just going to put that in the beginning so go back to future tony so yeah i think this armor is decent um as for how it shaders thankfully it's not bad like it's really really not bad at all um for the hunters warlocks and hunt and titans i think you guys are a little bit problematic but overall like there is really no problem for the hunters aside from like the arms specifically the elbows you guys will see that the, like that band takes off colors um that's actually it i think the helmet also takes off colors as well like the specifically the like eyes that's the other thing that doesn't change or takes off colors the chest piece has like a piece underneath the chest plate that takes under like off colors but again it's nothing super crazy where i'm like oh this armor is completely ruined it's like it's fine like it's definitely i'm gonna work around it but it's not the worst thing in the world specifically like i can definitely make it work and honestly i'm kind of excited to use more of these pieces because specifically the arms I think are really cool i ended up using girl falcons with the arms i think it looks so cool together i like legitimately that one is my favorite set that i made i think but the helmet is also really cool went with a basic hunter look for that one i think it looks cool granted it's kind of a cop out because i've used the other pieces before but with this helmet it just looks completely different and i think the chest piece even came out really cool actually yeah the, helmet, the, the chest piece came out really cool as well so like yeah, this armor set is super dope. Let me know what you guys. As for the Titans, I'm going to be completely a thousand percent honest with you guys. When I first saw this armor, I was disappointed. I was like, this kind of looks, looks terrible. Like, it looks super terrible. Now that I actually have it and I started using it, I love it. It's so good. Specifically, the chest piece, boots, and mark. I think these three are easily minimum a tier they're so good i want to put them at s tier but they're a little too basic for me to put them in s tier that being said because they are so basic they have a lot more functionality than like really unique pieces so that is an argument to be said about that um i think the arms and chest piece or helmet are the only pieces where i'm like i don't like them personally the helmet kind of looks like a helmet from XCOM 2, which made me giggle the arms i think it's the pauldrons the pauldrons piss me off to no extent like it just doesn't feel like it's a part of everything else like it just looks weird to me but the mark my favorite piece you're gonna see me utilize that in tactical sets um the boots are super cool the chest piece is super cool as well overall i'm actually really happy with the titans so as for how it shaders so my only thing that i can really say about the shadering is the fact that like it shaders well so i was probably just thinking about the warlocks in general because there's pieces in that that don't shader terribly it's just you guys will see what i'm talking about when we get to it but the only pieces that are taken off colors that i can notice is the buckle for the belt buckle and then the ears on the helmet specifically like, yeah the, like the ear things that's the only pieces that i can notice that are taking the off color either way it's not as bad as i thought it would be uh the pauldrons also the like flat piece of that pauldron that's going to be taking the off color but overall I'm not seeing anything that I'm like kind of like oh this is terrible it's like oh yeah this is very much like what I expect this armor to be doing the only thing I could really say that kind of bugs me is the fact that the boots uh specifically like the actual feet like the shoes uh take the weird color and when I say the weird color you guys will really notice it when it comes to like an echoed anger echoed anger you'll notice that it's like it's using that brown that I'm not the biggest fan of for Echo Anger. So that's like the only problem that I can see 
That being said, it's really easy to cover that up with certain shaders. Echoed Anger is just a bad example, or it's a good example to showcase that. But again, you use other shaders specifically, like specifically Cryptic Insignia is a good example because it takes the colors really well and just turns the shoe into just a black. So that's really cool. And that's kind of what I'm talking about. Like you don't have to, don't worry, unless you're like, oh, I wanted to combine it with Echoed Anger. You can definitely work around it. And last but not least, Warlocks. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I hate the helmet. And that's it. I think the helmet's the only bad piece, if I'm being quite honest. And even then, the example set that I made with it is pretty cool. I actually really like it. But yeah, I have no issues with it. I think the helmet's pretty terrible. Even then, I made a really cool set with it. Chest piece is actually really cool. The only unfortunate part is when it comes to shadering, the shoulder pads take colors differently, which we'll get to that in a bit. The arms take shaders differently as well. So the top part of the pole or the uh, the arms that like point pointy bit takes a different color to the actual like forearm armor and then the actual hand armor completely different color as well. So that's a little unfortunate considering I actually really like the arms and the example set that I made with it, it looks pretty cool. And then the boots, I'm gonna be honest, man, they are so simple that it took me a while to actually like make a set with it. And I don't know if I'm even still happy about it. Like it's like it was one of those like I give up. I'm just going to make this and give up. Uh, the bond is very boring, which is very very on point very on brand with warlocks so overall it's not like the worst thing in the world but it's definitely you guys are the losers of the of the armor sets that we got definitely the losers because i think uh what only two pieces of this set that i actually really really like which is the arms and the chest piece the boots are, uh the boots are not bad it's just personally i just could not combine them with anything that i really like that being said i was limiting myself so Without the limitation, I probably would do something I actually really do like. The bond is boring and the helmet just not my style. So as for how it shaders, you guys will notice what I'm talking about when it comes to the shadering. You guys will notice that the arms are taking like, what is it? Almost three colors, if I'm being honest. Yeah, so three colors on just the arms themselves. Technically four, five actually, because you have that under armor, which is the green. And then you have that orange underneath the actual arms. And then the like brown orange obviously i'm looking at ancient wisdom right now but yeah it's arms as much as i love them they shade are terribly uh the helmet takes the off colors as well for both the plates on the sides which is terrible the belt buckle takes the off color for the chest piece and i think the boots also take the off color but they take like a really weird off color like a really really weird one so that one actually spooked me a little because again i haven't seen that weird color in a while so when it comes to shading i'm not the biggest fan that being said uh, I think the chest piece and arms are still way worth it. I mean, this armor is free, so I mean, might as well get the armor. It's not like, uh, I shouldn't say free. It's free for those who got um, the final shape, I think. Um, unless you can get access to the um, the pale heart, because that's where you get the armor. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I really like this armor. I definitely do think a lot of these pieces are worth it especially to put it in your repertoire that being said i wouldn't mind i wouldn't like hate on you if you said oh i think the armor's trash because it definitely does give off the blue vibe a lot which is very unfortunate i would have preferred if they gave us this armor and then gave, gave us like an og armor from destiny one um or just give us like some of the you know if i'm being honest and i'm being greedy right now i would give us a lot of the armors from the expansions like the armor that we first saw in like the promotional stuff that armor give us all of that armor for for the anniversary because that would have been way better that would have been so cool because some of the armor that we got from the promotional stuff was fucking awesome so yeah i think this uh event is pretty terrible like not terrible but it's just like very lackluster for a 10 year anniversary so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all let me know what you guys are going to be picking up let me know if you guys are excited for the armor but other than that be safe i'll see you guys later